This is my uh, latest engine, uh, nearly completed, at least it's at the point of running. It's a compressed air powered version of a uh, early hit and miss engine. It has a one inch stroke, one and a half inch bore. It's an inverted model, which uh, means the cylinder is on the bottom and the crankshaft and the flywheel are on top. Some of the early uh, internal combustion engines were built in this format. I don't have it completely finished. I've got it running, but I still have to add the governor mechanism to make it run in hit and miss mode. Right now it runs in straight uh, four stroke mode. Um, let me just move it around here so you can kind of see it a little bit. <clears throat> this is the primary cam gear and this is the uh, second timing gear or the large timing gear which runs at one half the speed of the crankshaft. Uh, that drives the rocker arm which in turn pushes the push rod down and this is the valve mechanism down here. This uses a uh, quick release valve that's found like those found on air guns. <clears> that's <throat> also called a dump valve. Basically the cam holds the valve closed until it's ready to fire whereupon the rocker arm falls into this notch allowing the air to blow the valve open and admit air into the bottom of the cylinder, ca cylinder causing it to fire. One of the nice things about this valve is that when you turn the air on, it doesn't leak any air. Right there I've got the air full on. You can hear no air escaping whatsoever. As soon as I spin it over, it, it'll start. That's running wide open on about 100 pounds pressure of air. Slow it down a little bit here. It will idle uh, pretty slow. It might even idle slower than that.
turn it off before my air compressor starts up.